Hi and welcome to another video. This time we're going to look at uh, the difference between GPU and CPU and how it affects calculation time in Dialux Evo. I'm working on a 120 megabyte file here, Dialux Evo version 511, although well, it is 11.1. .1. And first we're going to start off with an i7-8700K 6 core 12 thread processor. Uh, it's running at an overclock. We've got 32 megabytes of DDR4 RAM and a RTX 3060Ti. I've got a little clock running down in the bottom corner there. You can see dialogues running in the background. You can see all processes are being used. By the way, subscribe and like if you want to see more of this content. For those of you who run dialogues, you'll know this is a site of all too often waiting for those blue bars to fill up. Actually, this is not a huge file. Could have run a much bigger one than this. But we're just running one that's going to take around the 45 second mark to calculate coming up to the end of the calculation now and there we go finishes uh, 46 seconds for that 120 megabyte file 100 percent cpu usage and zero gpu usage so we're going to have a look at ray tracing that file just hit the ray trace button here clock's going in the bottom corner there so it's a little bit faded out but we'll see it at the end ray tracing at 1600 by 1200 dpi just about coming to the end the blue bar on the bottom shows you and we ray traced that in 18 seconds so let's move on to our second rig this is an i7 12700 it's now 12 cores 20 threads 64 gigabytes of ram here that was moved up to an amd radian pro w6600 has it made much difference uh, with 100% utilization of all processes and nothing on the GPU. We get a calculation time of 29 seconds. Let's now see what happens on the ray trace. I think with a better graphics card, ray tracing will be faster. Actually, it's still using the GPU cores. All cores again, nothing on the GPU, ray trace time 10 seconds, that's about 8 seconds faster than the previous rig. Now I've overclocked this same rig, so we're running at 5 gigahertz. I've also overclocked the RAM, they're now at the factory set clock. Same GPU, same file, I've got a slightly different uh, CPU profile here showing all the clock speeds. And you'll see it dips up and down a bit from 100%, but generally all performance and efficiency cores are being used flat out for this i've got nothing else running in the background calculation time now 27 seconds only saving a couple of seconds over the unclocked version which shows that it's the processor and the number of cores really that affects the calculation time gpu seems to have no effect and the overclock speed very little effect Ray tracing down to 9 seconds, that's practically half the time it took on the first rig. Let's just look at those results. In comparison, we've got 46 seconds versus 29, saving 37%. If I overclock, I can save 41%. In ray tracing time, I can save up to 50% of my ray tracing time by just having a decent CPU. So that's it. For calculation time, GPU makes no difference. It's all about the CPU, the number of cores, and how fast you overclock them. If you like the content and want some more, hit the like and subscribe button. If you've got questions, leave them in the comments. If you want to join an online dialogues course, give me a shout too.